From student to data analyst in just a few months, this is how I would become a data analyst in 2024. So what kind of things does a data analyst even do? Well, I've done a whole video on the day in the life and multiple projects on this channel. For a quick overview, we turn raw data into insights. Keep yapping, man. The people understand you. And to demonstrate that, watch this. And also a lot of this. Yes, it's a lot of data cleaning, but that's something I really enjoy. If you do like these problem solving tasks, then this is something that could be for you. Other things we do is use Python. I've done a lot of videos of that on my channel. Now you could be building machine learning models or just aggregating data or even running some simple analysis. So, how do you get into the field? First of all, do you need a degree? No. I have a degree in psychology, since there's a lot of statistics involved. I managed to graduate with a first class Bachelor of Science in Psychology and used my statistics modules as a leverage to get into the field. I had learned how to use Excel, SPSS and a light bit of coding. Now, I used a lot of my statistical knowledge in terms of research methodology, sample sizes, and so forth. Ooh, you're hard, showing off. But today there are so many amazing online courses that you really don't need one. And a lot of people take the route of going on an apprenticeship or interning, getting an entry level role, or simply just building out a portfolio. So, no, you do not need a degree. Which brings me on to my first point. See what skills you do have and leverage them. But I have a very particular lack of skills. And then build a portfolio. Now we need to identify what skills you'll need. There are a few tools such as Python, SQL, Excel and Power BI, but let's start with Excel. Once you've mastered pivot tables, VLOOKUPs, conditional formatting, a lot of the basics and try building out your own dashboard, look into some projects online, then move to something like Power BI. It won't be a huge jump since they're both Microsoft products and it'll introduce you into some similar structures like DAX code, which is not too unlike formulas in Excel, and visualizations, which you'll be now familiar with. Python and SQL, coding languages, or well, SQL's a query language, but do you need to know them? Yes and no. So today in 2024, there's a lot of online mechanisms of AI such as ChatGPT, Bard and otherwise that will give you the code you need if you ask in plain English what you want. But you should definitely understand the basics first. You should really take the time to understand how you'd put together a SQL query, what the basic elements are, and pandas in Python, matplotlib, seaborn, visualization libraries, simple things to do data analysis. So. Now we've identified those skills, let's put it into work in building a portfolio. I just released a video telling you how to build a portfolio. Cool, you've got the skills you need, you've built out a really nice portfolio, next write up your CV. You want to chuck your skills up at the top, followed by any relevant experience. Now you may have not been in a data analytical role before, but you've likely been in situations where you've interacted with data. Now, how did that lead to solving a problem? Then put your education where it is relevant and how it links back to analytics. Always try and find that relationship and start applying to jobs. Now, you don't know how long this will take, but each time you apply for something, it's good. You learn how to do that. You prepare for interviews, which is the final step. There are plenty of online videos specifically for data analyst interviews. Once you've done that, you are all ready to go for your first entry level, internship or intermediate role. Now, all the best and good luck.